All right, I know how this looks. <laughs> I just uploaded a video on this game in just under 46 hours and 30 minutes. We're going to see more on Ark Knight's infield, and I'm incredibly excited. But the reason I'm making this video is because we found more information on this game that could very well tell us what this game is. And I'm excited. Hopefully, some of this information is correct, but I want you to all take it with a grain of salt because nothing is confirmed until, well, Hypergriff themselves confirms it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment with your thoughts and opinions as well. Subscribe to show support for the growth of this channel as I will be covering more Ark Knights infield. Anyway, let's get it popping. All right, guys. So the very first bit of information that I would like to talk to you guys about is <laughs> actually relating to what kind of game it is and the publisher that might be uh, pushing this game out and this image was sent to me from the amazing Ark Knights community and holy crap there's a lot in here keep in mind yes this is just metadata a lot of it could just be uh helping the search query so people can find the game but it would be irrelevant to place things that are not uh relevant to the game in the metadata so it's safe to say that there's a lot of things in here that might actually come true so the very first thing is yostar i see that yostar is in here it's very possible that they could be the publisher as they did publish the very first arc knights game here on the global market um it's very possible that this could only be a global thing but given the fact that the game uh has a global website as well as websites in other regions it's safe to say that yostar might be publishing this worldwide there was rumors about this game being free to play, but I've been hearing more about this game being a premium experience, meaning that you would buy the game first and then you just get a full experience. But usually with those kind of games, they don't necessarily continuously uh, remain updated due to the fact that they don't get funded as well as games that are free to play and continuously receive money from the gotcha and other monetization in the game. Now, they could be very different for this game, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, here's for the most interesting part of it. There's a few things that I see that are absolutely fantastic. One, I see 3D in here. <laughs> and that was my absolute first gripe with Ark Knights. The thing that kind of pulled me away was the fact that they had such great art and it was chibi. I got past that. I play the game and I enjoy it, but could they be actually making it 3D Ark Knights? That would be fantastic. But the thing that really catches my interest is the fact that it says RTS RPG, tactical game, and sci-fi. So the sci-fi part just means that the game will probably get really freaking weird, which I'm all a fan of. But RTS RPG, now that could mean a few things. RTS would mean something like a StarCraft, right? But RTS RPG kind of makes me think it could be a real-time version of an XCOM or a Final Fantasy Tactics, but just in real time instead of it just being, um, hey, place a, a unit here, wait, attack, wait. Like, this might be an actual real-time strategy role-playing game. Sort of like StarCraft, but a bit of XCOM mixed in as well. And that would be fantastic. Either way would be a great look for the game. Um, even if the gameplay was a StarCraft type system, they'd have to make some changes to make it fit a single fight, a single player aesthetic. But if it's an XCOM game with real time strategy elements in it, that makes a lot of sense for the type of game that Ark Knights originally was. So I'm looking so, so much forward to seeing what this is. Um, another thing that I see here is PC. <laughs> so that brings me over to the next image and that is this one which was provided by a user on um on twitter the chinese website actually confirms that there is a pc version the cn website lets you pre-register on ios android and pc which usually means that the game will be cross play cross compatible with an ios device and then you'll be able to carry that data over to android and be able to carry that data over to pc and maintain that seamless experience between every single one just by logging into like a hypergriff account or a yostar account but the global website doesn't show this so that's brought up another rumor which is that this game could have a cn exclusive beta first 
Once again, speculation, and that's all we can really do until Hypergriff and Yostar or just Hypergriff confirm this. But at this moment, it looks like we might be getting a 3D RTS RPG with a PC version for you all to enjoy. So take all this with a grain of salt. This is just speculation as we're just waiting for the countdown to finally reach the uh, the release of a trailer or whatever they plan on releasing. I'm looking forward to this as a fan of Ark Knights. I love everything that's been taking place in the Ark Knights universe. And I can't wait to see the evolution of that. Hope you guys stick with me here on this channel as I'm gonna be covering a lot of Ark Knights infield here on this channel. Super excited. Um, if you enjoyed this video and wanna see more like it, please like and comment with your thoughts and opinions as well. Subscribe to show support for the growth of this channel and share this with anyone that might be interested in this kind of content because I'm going to bring a lot of Ark Knights in-game related stuff. I'll see you guys soon. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay chaotic. Love you guys. Peace out.